Who is it? Stripper Grim. Tag, you're it. Shouldn't you put him in a brown paper bag and set him on fire? I've never slept on an air mattress before. No lumbar support whatsoever. Maybe you'd be happier on a park bench. Well, I don't see any way to get a park bench in here. Do you want to switch? No, that's fine. I'm perfectly comfortable sleeping on a bouncy castle. Get out of bed, we're switching. But now, only if you want to. Just get in the bed. What's going on? Are you boys roughhousing? We're just talking, Ma. If you don't settle down right now, I'm not gonna let you have any more sleepovers. God's sake, Ma, I'm 27 years old. It's not even a school night. <laughs> Comfy now? Meh. <laughs> a poster of Halle Berry's a little unnerving. So don't look at it. She's like my fourth favorite Catwoman. No kidding. Yeah, Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, and then her. What about Lee Merriweather? Oh, I forgot about Lee Merriweather. Well, I'm glad that's settled. That makes Halle Berry my fifth favorite Catwoman. It's Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, Lee Merriweather. Please, I'm begging you, go to sleep. I'm trying. I'm counting Catwomen. <laughs> she did make a fine mutant in the X-Men movies, though. Oh, for God's sake. She's not my favorite of the X-Men. In order, that would be Wolverine, Cyclops. Oh, wait, I forgot Professor X. Professor X, Wolverine. Cyclops, Iceman, then Storm, Angel, the Beat. No, wait, Nightcrawler. <laughs> Professor X, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Cyclops, Iceman, then Storm, Angel. I'm coming. Hey! <laughs> there he is. There, my old buddy, bud, bud. It was an experiment designed by this guy named Schrodinger. <laughs> From the Charlie Brown cartoons? No, he was some kind of scientist. Let me start again. Oh, hey, Leonard. Hello. Leslie. Hi. <laughs> okay, well, good night. Okay, well, good night. <laughs> that ain't gonna make your point. <laughs> Enough. Call me. Right. Well, okay, good night. Uh, what? Had a great time, chap. Everything has to do with sex. Hmm, testify. I'm not touching that. Leslie, you are way off base here. Now, hang on, Leonard. Well, I have no respect for Leslie as a scientist, or a human being, for that matter. <laughs> we have to concede her undeniable expertise in the interrelated fields of promiscuity and general sluttiness. Thank you. My point is that Tinkerbell just needs to get her some. Some what? Oh, yes, some sexual intercourse. I'll take the bullet. <laughs> Excuse me, this whole idea is insane. Yeah, yeah, enough debate. I'm going to take action. Excuse me. Are you currently involved in a sexual relationship? No. Would you like to be? Uh, sure, why not? Sheldon? Yeah, pip, pip, pip. <laughs> Can I have your phone number? Uh, yeah. There, problem solved. 
Dumbass. Did you remember to ask for the chicken with broccoli to be diced, not shredded? Yes. Even though the menu description specifies shredded? Yes. Brown rice, not white? Yes. Did you stop at the Korean grocery and get the good hot mustard? Yes. Did you pick up the low sodium soy sauce from the market? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. What took you so long? Just sit down and eat. Fine. All right, it's shredded. What do you want me to do? Turn on the ignition and shift into drive. I haven't fastened my seatbelt yet. <laughs> okay, fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> Click. <laughs> now, are there airbags? You don't need airbags. Dude, what does a simulated van rear ends mean? I'll hit you in the face with a pillow. <laughs> Okay, now shift into drive and pull out slowly into traffic. Oh, 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 second floor of the Glendale Galleria. I don't know. I was on the Pasadena freeway and missed my exit, flew off the overpass, and one thing led to another. Maybe you want to give it a rest and try again tomorrow. No. I quit. Oh, the pet store. Remind me to compliment Wallow, it's on the software. It's amazingly detailed. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm helping you with Stephanie. By making constipated moose sounds? When I fail to open this jar and you succeed, it will establish you as the alpha male. You see, when a female witnesses an exhibition of physical domination, she produces the hormone oxytocin. If the two of you then engage in intercourse, this will create the biochemical reaction in the brain, which lay people naively interpret as falling in love. Huh. Would it work if I just punched you in the face? Yes, actually it would, but let's see how the lid goes. I'm not strong enough, Leonard. You'll have to do it. God's sakes. Go ahead, it's pre loosened. <laughs> you want some help with that? No, no, no. I got it. No, oh, yeah, yeah, he's got it. And that's not surprising. This is something I long ago came to peace with in my role as the beta male. <laughs> Open it. Oh. Oh my uh, God. Ow. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm bleeding. Get like a gladiator. Oh, honey, you're gonna need stitches. Stitches? Mm -hmm. With a needle? Well, yeah, I mean, just a few. Oh, okay. Yeah, hang on a sec. <laughs> FYI, I was defrosting a steak in there. <laughs> Sheldon? I have an inflamed larynx. <laughs> okay. We are out of verbal key. Do you have any? <laughs> okay, let me check. Some honey. 
would be nice too. Heiny? Honey. 